Hello folks, I uploaded this video that's showing on the screen right now two weeks ago. I got lots of comments that saying it is difficult to set up the SWICD correctly. And I can see lots of folks have issues with the SWICD. That's why we have this video here today. In this video, I will show how to set up the SWICD correctly so there are no mess up or double inputs during the gameplay. If you haven't installed the SWICD on your Steam Deck, make sure you check out the video on the screen first, and then come back to this new setup video. Now it's time to start our tutorial. First, make sure your Steam client is always closed while you are using SWICD. Otherwise, the Steam client will keep messing up with the SWICD. Please make sure the Steam client is closed. But if you are playing game directly from your Steam library, you should close the SWICD in this case. In step 2, I will show the correct settings at the button mapping on my Steam Deck. Just go to the right bottom corner of your desktop and double click the gamepad icon. It will bring up the SWICD interface. First, let's go to the driver states. On this page, the driver states should show as running, and the emulation states should show as active. Now let's move to button actions. It should be empty here unless you want to assign a special action to your button. The next one is the settings. I usually keep those two boxes checked so my SWICD is always running at the background once my Windows is booted up. Just leave the operation mode as blacklist. But make sure you don't have any games and applications under the blacklist. Now let's move to the key part. Under the default profile, if you have mouse movement and the button both boxes checked, there is no mouse input emulation in this case. If you leave those two boxes unchecked, the touchpad and L1, L2 trigger buttons will emulate as mouse input. I would highly recommend to have them both checked to avoid the mess up during the gameplay unless the games that you are playing require mouse input. Under the button mapping, please make sure your setup is exactly matched with mine. I will just slowly show my button mapping under each tab. Make sure yours are matched with my setup. Make sure you uncheck the haptic feedback box and adjust the amplitude at least to 10 in order to have haptic feedbacks on the controller. Now you can close the SWICD and just remember to click save before you close it. Then I will run compo games and test the settings. Switch weapons.
I played all three games for a while. There is no issues anymore. That's all for this tutorial. By the way, if that was really helpful, what I just shared with you, then I would love it if you would give this video a like or subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much.